Hi, my name is Lynn Clark and I'm a master's student at Derry Galway. And today I'll be showing you how to use Drush, the Drupal shell, to make your site development go more quickly. So in the past few sessions, I've showed you how to install your Drupal 7 site, configure it and change its look and feel with themes, and how to install modules. So now I'm going to show you how you can make that module installation process go a little bit faster uh, using Drush and also some of the other neat commands that you can do using Drush. First, we're going to need to download Drush. So we'll go to drupal.org slash project slash Drush. That's D-R-U-S-H. So here is the page for Drush. And we'll see that there's an all versions 3.0 alpha 1. We want to use this the most recent version. Um, unlike other things in the project section, this is not actually a module. It's a standalone folder. So we are going to go ahead and download this. And we'll place it next to our other Drupal root folders. So that's in Sites, Acquia Drupal site. We'll just place it right here at the same level with our two other Drupal folders. So now Drush is downloaded and we can actually see what it does. It's a command line utility, so we'll have to open up Terminal or our command line program. And I'm going to go ahead and enlarge this so you can see what I'm doing here. So we're going to go to Sites, Acquia Drupal, Drush, And we can actually run the Drush command here, and it shows us all of the different things we can do with Drush. But that's actually not very helpful because we actually have to be in the Drush directory right now for this to work. So what I'm going to do is make what's called an alias so that whenever I type Drush, I don't actually have to be in the Drush directory. I can be anywhere, even in my Drupal sites directories, and it will still run. So I'm going to create this alias by saying alias drush equals, and then I put the location of the PHP I want it to use. So that's applications, Acquia Drupal, PHP, bin, PHP. And then I put the location of my drush folder, which is my home directory sites, Acquia, Drupal sites for slash drush slash drush. And now when I run the drush command, actually, I think I needed to put dot PHP. Now when I run the drush command, you see it, uh, it did bring up the same thing. And that would work even if I was in, say, my Drupal 7 site directory. So now that we have this all set up, we can do things like download modules. Um, so there's one module called Views that a lot of people use. We can go ahead and say Drush DL Views. That's DL for download. And it will actually go and download the package for us puts it and put it in Sites All Modules. So that's just a little bit of a time saver. When you're developing a lot of sites, it's really handy. And if we wanted to go ahead and enable views, what we would say is Drush. And then we have to actually specify the URI we want to use. So we say URI equals, and we go back and get the URI of our site. And then we say enable, en, enable views. And we actually just enabled the module. So I really like to use Drush. It saves me a lot of time. So you can check out the other commands that are available. And I'll be using a lot of these throughout the tutorial so you'll get familiar with them. 
but don't worry if you can't quite get comfortable with Drush because you can still do all of this stuff manually and that's totally fine.